Hey everybody, welcome back to DSC Healthy Living. Uh, I hope y'all are having a fantabulous day. I created that word in the last video. <laughs> so we're gonna go on with it. Um, and if speaking of that, if you have not watched the that video, what I'm doing is a series about how to uh, actually create willpower. So that first video explained this. If you have not watched it, you might wanna go back and watch it first uh, instead of just starting with this one because this is, um, we talked about willpower and how we actually are gonna create that by eliminating some things that are of temptations to us. So we're gonna like work on our environment around us, which is in turn going to make your healthy choices a lot better or a lot easier. So, that being said, and uh, <laughs> if you have watched the last video, yes, this is the same shirt, but I'm doing these videos all in the same day, so don't think I wear this shirt every single day. Uh, although I do love the shirt. Yeah, it says strong women. Uh, here's to strong women. May we raise them, may we know them, and may we be them. So, there you go. Anyway. <laughs> This is, and if you hear anything else funny, it's Gracie's over here, the, our little Pomeranian, and she is snoring. So that's what you may be hearing in the background. Okay, now, <laughs> if you watched the last video, I asked you to go ahead and dissect your day and get an idea of, of the different places where we can interject and create, eliminate these uh, temptations. So one of those being the first thing we need to eliminate is all the bad food choices, right? And to make that easier, again, if we uh, buy healthy food, we eat healthy food. Great concept, right? So we've got to get all the bad foods out first. And a lot of people really are like, I don't really know. This to me, is, this people say this is good. People say this is bad. Just like, let's just say coffee, for instance. People will say, well, you shouldn't drink coffee. No, you shouldn't drink it with a thousand calories of crap put into it. But black coffee, add it, and you can add some other stuff to it that's healthier, like, you know, your unsweet almond milk or uh, oat milk, stuff like that. And, uh, but anywho, so, um, but that that's just an example. Like some people, some studies will say coffee's bad. Some will be coffee's good. And it just depends on the day of the week, which is good, which is bad, right? So this is just giving you some base examples of what, sh what you should take out. Of course, you know some of it, like cookies and stuff like that. But um, let's, uh, first we'll talk about, let's, we'll talk about the pantry first. We'll go from the pantry to the fridge to the freezer. Uh, in that order and uh, see if that doesn't help. And uh, something like I'm just gonna hit a little bit on this because we don't have all day, right? Um, if you need more information, we have some wonderful books that really go into detail on this, especially if you are on program, some of my plan peeps, uh, you know, yourself, if you are doing uh, one of our plans that is more restrictive, some of this is not going to apply to you, uh, but this is what you would do once you have gone through the weight loss phase of our program. So just keep that in mind. I'm not giving you the go ahead to do some of this stuff. <laughs> um, so, and another thing, so if you are a plan peep, our fuelings are considered good healthy options, right? So you don't want to get those out of your pantry, of course. Um, our fuelings um, have the opposite effect of what the, um, um, I'm sorry, I lost my spot. I think I went into a different uh, page. I have to have notes, you know. Um, yeah, so when we go into the pantry, that's what we're going to the pantry first, right? <laughs> so this is where most of our foods, uh, the processed foods are stored, right? So we want to eliminate all the ultra processed foods that we have uh, that start with like sugar, refined flour as the first few ingredients. So, and if you're not aware that any of the ingredient labels, the first few uh, ingredients is what that product is made mostly of. So like, you know, sometimes it's a big old long list of ingredients. The very last one is gonna have a very minimal amount. So it's always you wanna look at those very first three ingredients. Um, three or four. But anyway, um, so if those contain, like I said, the sugar, refined flour, that's what we want to get rid of. And um, why do we do that? Well, the the reason the the food industry uh, utilizes and encourages this um, 
encourages us to consume large amounts of these products, these ultra processed foods by manipulating the, the taste, uh, the salt and the texture. So that's what is also responsible for us having the sugar and the refined flour addiction. So yeah, the food industry's just trying to make a buck like anybody else in the world, right? So sad thing is it affects your health. The, so our fuelings that we utilize, that's what ours are designed to, to be op, the opposite of that because um, they are low glycemic, they are portion controlled, they provide um, the balanced protein and carbs, the lower calories, and they work with your body to um, turn off those me metabolic switches and then it transforms us into those uh, that fat burning state. So that's what the fuelings help us to utilize and helps us to do. And um, it's a great healthy option. And it also helps us to, you know, manage your weight and health. So uh, you wanna leave those in your pantry is what I'm getting at. So <laughs> take, leave those in there. And, um, and when I'm telling you to get rid of these unhealthy foods that I'm gonna give you kind of a list, but um, when I'm telling you to get rid of the cookies that's in the cat cupboard, I, that does not mean to go sit down and eat the whole bag. I, that is not what I mean. Um, if there are other people in the house that um, are not choosing to get healthy at this time and you are going to leave those cookies for the kids or, or a hubby or whatever, then you don't want those in your cupboard. So if great if you have some separate cupboards and cabinets that you can put your food in versus their food. If not, if it's one big pantry, make sure yours are at eye level. So that's what you see first. And any that are tempting, that might be tempting to you, they need to go on the very bottom and the back or, you know, the very top that you can't, if you're short, you know, if you can't reach them. So put them up in the top and the back, um, just so they're out of sight, out of mind. And, um, but best thing to do is if you can get them to put their stuff in a different cabinet that would, that you don't even open, that would be the best thing to do. Um, so, uh, things that you want to get rid of, like for instance, uh, your white rice, flour, bread, crackers, rice cakes, croutons, bread crumbs, your hydrogenated, hydrogenated vegetable oils that, um, you know, have your, like your uh, Crisco in a can, you don't want those. Um, white potatoes, your potato, instant potato mix, you know, anything like that, cornmeal, corn grits, uh, refined cereal, so your Fruity Pebbles, your Captain Crunch, whatever, those cereals are, <laughs> they are full of sugar. And that's another thing too, some of the cereals are marked, that they try to market them as being healthy and look at the ingredients, they're not. Um, so you want like whole grain, um, all bran is a good one, and then a lot of people are just like, well that tastes like grass. There are some different options. Um, there's a fiber one option that is wonderful that has the um, the whole grain in it as well. So, and fiber that you need, a high amount of fiber. And the older you get, the more fiber you need. That's the sad truth. But anyway, so your flavored oatmeal, you wanna get those out of the way. I've, I've talked about those before too. They are not a healthy option by any means. And of course the obvious, your cookies, your cakes, your Little Debbie's, you know, pretzels, popcorn, yeah, popcorn, any of that stuff like that, you want to make sure that's out of the cabinet, out of sight, out of mind. Um, and another thing, when you're taking away these foods and getting them out, you don't want to tell your family, well, I'm going on a diet and I can't have these foods. Number one, that's already a negative and it's setting you up for failure when you're saying you can't have something. Um, that's not what this is about. You are choosing, remember choices, we talked about that. We chose not to uh, have these things because we want to get healthy. So that's, it's all how you say things. And when you tell somebody that, if you're out in public too, like if you're going out with someone, for instance, and, and you're out and um, they bring out, I don't know, the appetizers and their fried pickles or whatever. And you're like, if you say, well, I can't have that. I'm on a diet. People are automatically going to come to you and they're going to, or they're going to come back at you and they're going to say, oh, just have one. It won't hurt. Come on. It's kind of, it's peer pressure, you know? Um, but if you, from the get go say, I'm choosing not to have that right now because, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on a health journey or I'm, I'm just choosing to, to, uh, 
working folks on my health right now. So when you say that, it automatically tells them, hey, okay, I don't need to be a saboteur and get her to eat this, you know? Um, I need to support her. And they'll say, oh, okay. And then if they're a good friend, they'll be like, well, let's just not order fried pickles, you know? We can just not have fried pickles today. So that would be, you know? Um, anyway, so don't say you can't have something. And um, so, Let's see, again, I'm gonna to talk too long. That's why, again, I, I broke this up. I knew I'd do this. Um, we, uh, when we, um, what we're doing, you know, setting this up, we're eliminating everything to make so we don't make the poor choices. The, so we're putting the things back in the pantry that we, instead of what we took out, we wanna put some olive oil in there, uh, whole grains, high fiber bread, walnuts, pistachios, almonds, a variety of different beans, um, and if you're on our weight loss phase, again, some of these options are not for you, so just keep that in mind. Um, you can ask me directly about those if you are. Um, so the healthy options, again, put those at eye level and have your family to put theirs somewhere else. Fridge, um, things you wanna take out, your whole fat dairy. Now, when I say whole fat, you know, because you know, I'm gonna say whole fat yogurt. You don't want whole fat yogurt. You want reduced fat yogurt, okay? So you want the whole fat yogurt, mayo, dairy, your milk, your cheese, your butter, anything whole fat out of there. Uh, processed deli meats, um, bacon, uh, hot dogs, sodas, juices, beer, wine. A lot of people are like, eh, not my wine. Um, we talk about that later. You know, that is a healthy option later. Not a bottle of wine, like a glass of wine, red wine. <laughs> but anyway, foods in uh, high in fat, calorie and sugar, anything that's high in fat and calorie sugar, you want to get rid of like uh, your peanut butter, your jelly, your salad dressing, sweet relish, ketchup. Ketchup is full of sugar, applesauce, puddings, anything of that nature. Um, so what you want to put back is your low fat protein options like your lean chicken, your lean meats, your tofu, hummus, eggs, um, and again, you know, your low fat dairy products uh, too. Uh, your fresh veggies or frozen veggies, um, mustard pickles, and you know, mustard uh, is D Dijon, and there's other, all types of different things to flavor with besides ketchup. Uh, pickles, vinegar, uh, unsweet tea, olives, the other thing, like as far as dressings, the G Hughes and the Walden Farms, we've talked about these before too. They have, you know, the Walden Farms have no sugar, no carbs, no calories. Uh, G Hughes has awesome sauces like barbecue sauces, Polynesian. I mean, there are so many tons of, of just check them. Some of some of G Hughes has calories like the his version of the Chick Fil A sauce, not quite healthy as some of his other ones, but it is definitely better than the Chick-fil-A sauce. But anywho, um, so read your labels. But uh, freezer, you want to take out things like frozen pizza, of course, uh, frozen fruit that's added sugar, uh, vegetables and sauces, um, you know, your creamy sauces that go on those vegetables and, you know, the little green giant makes it look healthy, but it's not. So um, orange juice, lemonade, bread, rolls, frozen biscuits, any of that nature, frozen dinners, ice cream, stuff like that. Take that out, put back. You want to do your frozen broccoli, spinach, cauliflower, rice cauliflower, great. Um, green beans, your unsweetened fruit, like your berries, your raspberries, your strawberries, blueberries, shrimp, uh, any kind of fish, and especially and make sure they're not in sauces. Again, you don't want any sauces. Uh, your lean meats and poultry, um, you know, and some veggie burgers are great. Those Boca bur burgers are awesome. Um, and, but make sure any of those um, burgers like that, you wanna make sure they're from soy, the beans, and uh, your, uh, your, not, not from the grain and, and sugar. So make sure they're from soy and beans. All right, so that's just a general quick list. Now I've went over time again, sorry. Uh, so <laughs> we will be back again with the next video. And I think, I don't know, we're gonna do either the, um, how to prep the preparation and, um, and um, storage. So anyway, as always, like, comment, share, post, or no, that's not right. See, I never do this right, Caitlin, sorry. Like, comment, share, Subscribe! Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll get this one day, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all have a good one.